Okay, here we're going to take a look at the PPC Belden EX6 Plus RG6 Snap and Seal Outdoor Compression Connector. This I bought off of Amazon. See, it says EX6 Plus. I ordered, the first time I ordered this, I got the EX6 XL. And, uh, and I thought I had this one, but I finally figured out and I ordered another set and I got the right one, the EX6 Plus. I, I got the one that, I really got the one I ordered. So what I wanna do is show you a comparison between the two. The first one I got is the XL like extra long. It worked with the compression tool I had, but when I bought the, when I reordered it and I got the real one, they're shorter and I had to buy a different compression tool. So the one on the right is the EX6 Plus and the one on the left is the EX6 XL. And you can see the one on the left is a little bit longer than the one on the right. I'm moving my hand around trying to get the light on it so you can see side-by-side -side comparison. The one on the left is the XL, the EX6 XL, and the one on the right is the EX6 Plus. The one on the left, see it's got a wider black band than the one on the right, so it's extra long compared to the one on the right. I don't know really why they did it. The one on the left, my old compression tool that I had works on it perfectly. The one on the right, it doesn't, which I'm going to demonstrate that in a minute. I had to buy a new compression tool for it. Okay, here's the side-by-side -side comparison of the two compression tools. The one on the top is not adjustable. The one on the bottom is the Gennard adjustable one. It has the green handle. It does the BNC, RCA, and the regular F connectors. Now here is the uh, Logico Quad Shield Coax RG6. I'm going to use that brand for this example. It's made in Malaysia. Use the stripper. Thumb back the out the outer braid. Get all the braid back thoroughly. Make sure none of it's against the center conductor. Here I'm using this little hook just to demonstrate how to make a if you can't find the end of the foil, just use that hook to make one. And that peeled off about three-fourths of it, and there's one little piece left. Because I didn't, I wasn't at the very end of it when I started. So push all that, the next layer of braid, the inner layer of braid out, and then put a little tear in that piece of foil and remove the remaining little bit of it. And then carefully push back all the braid, make sure you get a, a good bend, get all of it doubled back on itself. I put this piece of tape around it to hold all the braid back in the double back position. That keeps the braid from slipping back inside the jacket. And right there, there's a little bit of braid that's going horizontal that my little flaring tool might snag it and push it inside the jacket and you don't want that at all. If any braid gets to going back inside that jacket, it will make a, it'll jam it up, it makes like a log jam and the only thing you can do is just cut about two inches off and start again. So with our tape holding the braid back in the double back position, take our homemade flaring tool and I'm putting it on, use a little oval shake as you put it on, kind of a, helps line it up on there. There it goes. Now watch this. If you've ever had trouble putting F connectors on, you notice that is nice. That just makes, makes me grin. Take off the electrical tape. And now you can put on your F connector 
with your bare hands. I'm putting the F connector on, give it a little circle push as you put it on. You see it went on very easily after using the flaring tool. Now I'm wanting you to notice here is a compression tool and I want you to notice the little shoulder on the F connector. I'm going to give it a full squeeze. This compression tool I bought off of Amazon. It is not adjustable. But notice right here there is a little ledge, a, a groove, a step, that line, a contour line. And it didn't, that little metal jacket didn't go all the way up against it. Like here's an example of one that's fully compressed. See the distance? The, the black is a wider band of black on the left than it was on the right. So here is another compression tool I got off of Amazon. Genard brand. It's got the green handle. It's just like the other one except it is adjustable and it has adapters for BNC, RCA, and your regular F connectors. And the way I have this one set, and you squeeze it, and you watch that right there. Watch that black band. See it compresses it all the way. Now it is fully compressed. That little, it's all the way up to that little edge. Just like the other one. When I set the distance on this Genard tool to, for the EX6 Plus the distance I needed, I made it um, a wide space and kept crimping it down until I got it up close to where I wanted it to be. Instead of setting it where the anvil would be at a very short distance and then and maybe over compress or you know bind the tool up, I set it where it was definitely not going to be fully compressed and then I would adjust it out a little further and compress it, adjust it a little further and compress it. Mm -hmm.